seems to take the knee to rich applause from the supporters, which is great to see in the battle against racism and all social injustice globally. Football is still sending out that message. Off we go. Arsenal is Raphael. On the line by Catley. Arsenal in behind here straight away. And a good save. Marnham up in attack. And really good stop by Berger. Good movement here from the midfield for Arsenal. Getting into a dangerous position. She's in double figures this season with 10. And great to see Berger and catching Berger back in the side. Her first FA Cup tie this season. She's played in the Champions League. And the first corner of the game goes to Arsenal's way. Visitors have started brightly to the far putt. Now the first question to be asked here of the Arsenal defence. Slip square by Cuthbert. This is a good routine into the box. And Ericsson's header took it away from Sam Kerr, who was just behind her. Clever to Arsenal out. Just disrupted their shape at the back a little bit. Kerr was poised, ready for it. Ericsson looking for her first goal since March. Of course on home soil in the Women's World Cup Finals. Here's James, now Kurt. Little got caught under her feet, and thankfully for her, she had Wienreuter in to help out. And indeed, Paris says France. Here's James. That's a lovely ball around the corner. Looking for Cuthbert, who took up a good position. Cross towards the far post, headed down by right and set up by Cuff, but here's Sophie Ingle. Now Charles. Chelsea at the moment looking dangerous, stabbed away. Problems. Probably. Still only 21 years of age. It seems the time has come. Because an Arsenal freak it helped away. By... Crossing from Catley, comes all the way through. And McKay just nicked off her toes by Sam Kerr back in there defending, saw the danger. Catley. Nice to free Ford. Oh, it's nicked beyond the goalkeeper. Hesitation at the back for Chelsea. Blackstenia's got something on it. And it's cleared off the line by Charles. Uncertain Chelsea defending there. Goalkeeper Kane didn't get anywhere near it. Ericsson took it away from her and it nearly went in. Maxinius didn't get anything on it in the end. Were by far and away the dominant force in English women's football until the rise of Chelsea. Towards the far post it goes, looking there for Ford. And both Kerr and Ingle went for that and Arsenal have another corner. Back defending. She's not the tallest, she's only five foot six, I believe. International will take the corner kick. That's at the far side by Ford. And back in there by Leah Valti. And eventually Chelsea with all those numbers back. You'll often hear the name of Doncaster Bells mentioned. Former two football club back in the day. Here's Wrighton. He's got him behind here towards the far post. And I think she sensed Lauren James was coming in and the shot is deflected and it'll be a Chelsea corner. It's a dangerous attack and good vision by Wrighton. James holding that position deep on the far side. Now she attacks the box. It's a good run in the middle as well to take uh, Markers away by Kankovic. James arriving deep had the shot. It away. Catley in comes that corner. Ingle with the setup header. A couple of their last half dozen games, though, Kirby. That's come off right. Blackstenius is in behind and should have scored and put Arsenal ahead. She's their main hope for goals with uh, Viviana Miedemar out injured long term. Got in behind, shrugged off for Ericsson. 
I don't know whether the ball bobbled up, but she was leaning back off it. You lean back off the ball, you get underneath it, can only go one way. That's a poor finish. What's the counter here now? Kankovic looking to get the return from Kerr, who was buffeted by Rafael. James. Little step over, Ingle into the space, shoots and puts Chelsea ahead. The holders lead. Her third goal of the season. Lauren James at the heart of it. Well, a goal has been coming since kickoff. The question was always going to be who would get it. Been a very good cup tie. A uh, little bit of a fortunate bounce off Rafaela. Cuthbert was first to react. Uh, Kankovic was first to react. James, they backed off. Uh, can't do that. Look at Ingle arriving. Allowed to go free, Sophie Ingle. They switched off. They let her have the run. And Zinsberger was beaten. Slight curl on the shot for me. Instep of Sophie Ingalls' left boot, having got down there and got a hand on it, since Berger really should have kept it out of last year. That's Denise Gillon and Katrin Berger. It comes, it's a good punch on it. Back in by Cathy Wister, back in by McCabe, I should Marnham with this corner kick, swinging away. In he came through to Raphael, who had just had a... Strong run there, that's released. That Stenius touch was very heavy. Marnham is in the middle, played into her. Oh, goodness me. Couldn't quite stretch. Hunter. Ford involved. Thought the touch was very heavy and the chance had gone. But Chelsea didn't close on her. And that's inches away. Very, very close. Really good counter. Oh, that's a risk and it's a poor ball. Across the line of defence, it really was a poor pass. Kerr is in there. They handed Chelsea a second goal. No. Denied by Fein Zinsberger. Stop them the second. And they're buoyed by that. And Ford has got away from Charles, who was tugging on the shirt. And here's an opportunity. Marnham lays it off. And the shot stings the fingers of the goalkeeper. And Ford couldn't force it in. And away by Ericsson. McCabe back into the middle. It was her shot that was saved. Error there by Charles. Allowing Ford to get away. Pass to McCabe. Parried by the goalkeeper. Poorly really. But she did enough to smother. It's to create though. Looking for Williamson coming through. Away by Cutter. These islands. Go in the second half, Chelsea then all in blue and kicking from left to right. It is a chilly old day. Blustery wind has been blowing around London this morning. No effects of that here at the moment. It's a dangerous ball in from Ford. Pressure by McCabe in there. Decent. And Zinsberger. Good challenge by. James has had a fantastic game again. Pankovic, Kerr, it's just a decisive moment. A brilliant Sam Kerr finish. Again, Lauren James played a big, big role in it. Ten minutes into the second half, Kerr gets another goal against Arsenal in the FA Cup. And it's 2-0 Chelsea. And that could be game tie over. Really crucial goal. Sam Kerr's 21st of the season, but look at this, one bat by James, quickly worked on an intelligent ball, Kankovic with a fine eye for a pass. Catley, good work by James again across to Cutter at his forward. This time she's got away from Perisic, this is a strong run, it's fizzed off the goal. 
good turn away from Perisic. And on she goes, couldn't be caught. I think the flag was raised in the middle, it was against Black Stennis, it wouldn't have counted anyway. She had a good game on either flank. Out comes that corner kick, Rafael attacked it. Chelsea again, hold firm. Kick first time, but hit wide. Rafael drops back. He's Belova. Bean Reuter joining in. Comfortable save. They are creating. get back into the game here it's a tame effort from range by Marnham Marnham turning into space getting a shot away all season she's been willing to shoot from range shoot from anywhere still is on faulty and Fien Reuter the shoulders of the defender of the attackers you can hear the cry went out from the Chelsea. Marnham trying to hold it up. Release to Ford. It's another Arsenal shot. It's another shot too close to the gossip ball in. Left footed. Williamson from there is not going to beat Anne Katrinberger. Ruben Moy to Raffaella. The arrival of Ruben Moy has allowed Williamson to push on. Little getting into the penalty here. Can they get one back here late? Good save. It's a lovely run by Little, isn't it? The save looked more spectacular than perhaps it. needed to be, but anyway, she got it away from danger. That's all that matters. Peter Marnham over the wall, but not down again. Arsenal's last hope. It would just be a consolation. And any hope of that is denied. Chelsea are through to the last eight of the Women's FA Cup. The holders have dispatched Arsenal here by two goals to nil. Sophie Ingle and Sam Kerr getting the goals. An inevitable one for Kerr against Arsenal.